I'm here until I get to the house, then I'll be busy for a few minutes and back. All right, well, we're live now, so. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Glacier Ridge campaign. We are on episode 13. Oh, geez. Who knew we'd make it that far? Anyway. I didn't. And who oh, knew? We're going to be canceled who, by now. Who knew that we were going to be in this on the same exact monster this entire time? But I mean, I had a plane. To be fair to the hunters, it has not, not exactly been a. It has monster. not been a. I mean, it's the same creature. Um, it has not been a. No, it's it, not. It changed creatures. It's the same <laughs> monster. Um. It has not been a full week since they started investigating in game. So, hence the name of the game, Monster of the Week. Yes, exactly. So, technically, we're still under the parameters of Monster of the Week. Of the Week. Of but the week. about to fail shortly. <laughs> uh, I think you're on Sunday now. What day did we arrive? Well, you arrived on the weekend, took the weekend to kind of get settled, and then started the investigation on Monday. Oh, so this is our last day. We need to finish it. Uh, Wrap it up. I, I would say yes, but I also know your heaters and everything are showing up tomorrow. <laughs> so... Uh, welcome. This is Monster of the Week. Uh, Monster of the Week is a game created by Michael Sands. It's based on, um, basically your favorite Monster of the Week TV series. Examples of Monster of the Week TV series are Scooby-Doo, X-Files, Doctor Who, Fringe, uh, Supernatural, um, Dresden Files, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you know, the ones where they fight a different monster every single episode. This is way worse than all of them. That's rude. Um, but true. Do you think we could match any of them? I mean, if we try to bit Not only match, but we can surpass them. Yeah, exactly. That's the spirit. Um, Wait, when did you become the optimist? <laughs> Last season? Yes. When he played uh, Kenny. We could... We can surpass them in quantity of episodes. That is probably not uh, true as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we could probably surpass in the amount of hours to watch. That is probably true. There we go. Um, Something. Anyway. So, yeah, that's what this is. Um, everybody plays a different role. We have... Uh, Frankie the mundane. We have Charlie the professional. I think. I don't know. I don't have my character sheet. Uh, we have a gumshoe. We have a spooky. And we have a wronged. Um, each of them have their own little features that they do. Um, Frankie looks like she's fright they're frightened. Um, Sorry, um, a thing that was supposed to be secure on the wall that has been there since I moved into this apartment just came flying off of the wall and clattering to the ground behind me. It's Haunted. Because we're playing the spooky game. Um, we go investigate Frankie's apartment next. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm telling you, Frankie doesn't have an apartment. It's just a very elaborate cardboard box. It's true. Um, okay, so yeah, that's basically the game. Um, as I said, it hasn't been a full in-game week, even though we're on episode 13. Um, so, in the last episode, there was a bunch of stuff that happened. The end. Um, <laughs> one second here. So, uh, you guys had a conversation with Rachel in the woods. Um, you were kind of talking to her about what happened. She realized that this was all real life and that it wasn't just a dream or anything like that. Um, you kind of had a conversation about what to do. 
and ended up taking her to the old mill. After you took her to the old mill, you were like, we'll get you some supplies and stuff. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, then you went back to the lodge. Uh, decided now's a good time to take a little nappy poo. So go to sleep. And Charlie had an interesting encounter. Um, the monster was literally just standing in the corner of his room doing nothing other than staring at him. Uh, Charlie uh, woke up, saw the monster, um, approached said monster, touched said monster, and then got frostbite on his hand. And then after he touched oh, the monster, he disappeared. The monster did. He's pulled up to his nickname. I disappeared. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, I just went black. Oh, there we are. Um, then when you woke up in the morning, you had a little morning meeting. Uh, you guys were all like, oh, we had a great sleep. It was wonderful. Uh, and then Charlie was like, yeah, not so. Oh, actually, that's not true. Um, Wyatt said he had a nightmare about a bunch of ice monsters charging the lodge. And then Charlie took his human suit off and decided to lead the charge of the ice monsters. And then it was in the dream. <laughs> and then Charlie told them about his encounter with the monster. Um, Wyatt and Emily snuck off into the corner to talk quickly about making plans to sneak out to the old mill in order to try and see these people that they were just told about. Um, then I made a horrible error and forgot something, so we had to rewind time and go back to the night before before they went to bed. They went to the town meeting. Um, everybody gathered as the sheriff made an announcement that there is now a curfew in place, that everybody has to be in bed or at home before dark. Um, and they blamed everything on animal attacks, blah, blah, blah. Um, then we went back to the current times. Victor and Maxine went to the Wilderness Outfitters store. Um, they picked up. A bunch of stuff for uh, Rachel, Rachel. Um, as well as Jason, but more so for Rachel, because Jason doesn't really want to talk to you guys. Um, Wyatt and Emily. Oh, and then they went to Evans Antiquities and picked up some more stuff for Rachel. Um, then Wyatt and Emily snuck out and tried avoiding Charlie. Um, however, that didn't go very well. Um, Charlie followed behind them at a distance. Uh, once they got far enough, they ended up sneaking into the old mill. They snuck through the fence, opened the door, and as soon as they opened the door, Charlie appeared behind them and was like, What are you doing? And scared the crap out of them. Um, then they were like, we just, we just wanted to meet Rachel. And you were like, Well, I'm here to keep you alive. Well, Charlie was. Um, so Charlie called out for Rachel. Rachel came and met with them. And then they had a wonderful meeting with Rachel um, and learned about some cool things. Um, the different phases of the monster, things like that. Uh, Maxine and Victor grab some more groceries and head back to the uh, old mill to drop them off for, her, for Rachel. Um, and then they started to plan their trap. Um, after that, you guys went back to the lodge again, and that's pretty much where we called it for the night. So you are pretty much in the process of planning the trap. Charlie did say that he had an idea of how the trap could work. I did share it with the group. Yes, you did. Do you remember what it was? Uh, use the papers that we took from it to lure it into an area where we have heat set up to trigger so it can heat up and it can't escape. Correct. All right. So... With that all being said, we have finished our intro and recap. Nine minutes and 30 seconds. Nice. Go. Most of that's my fault. Just How is it your fault? You didn't ask questions. Narky this entire recap and derailing it. All right. It's all fine. That's what I do.
Go. Go. Go where? Start. Hey, is it our time of like what time of day? Is it nighttime? We're just back at the lodge talking. No, about? it's not. I wouldn't say it's nighttime. I'd say it's probably l uh, around afternoonish. Lunchish. Okay. No, not lunchish. Afternoonish. Two p.m. All right, all right. So we're talking Sunday, 2 p.m. Let's come up with a plan. So what spot are you thinking, Charlie, to make this happen? Do you we're think we should... We're using the notes, right? But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want to use the maybe the cave? Or do you think that's too far away to get things set up? Would he be he going came to, the cave? to me in the room here, so we don't need to go somewhere to him. He should be coming to us. Because you have the like, because he thinks you have the papers. Yes. Like in your room type thing. Well, he thinks I have possession of them, so he went to look in my room. I just we need to figure out how to get him to know that I can give him the papers tomorrow night. So do we have to go somewhere that I'm just trying to think if we go somewhere where what are the words I'm looking for? Because you said that he came to you thinking like he knew that you had the papers because you, we had all been in his house correct but it's like do we i don't know why he would come back again thinking the same thing if you didn't well we could test that theory tonight if he comes back to charlie tonight okay well no and then we can he can leave a message with elias saying we'll have the papers here so and so for him and hopefully we can get things set up we should also test to see whether he can uh, affect power like Rachel did or he could take some video yeah exactly take some video take some pictures see if things will work so that we can actually you think it would be different power. with him Right now, he doesn't really have power. right. You said he's still in the cheat said he was still in the nesting stage. So maybe he's not as powerful. So he might have power like that. Yeah. A little bit, but. And Charlie, maybe you shouldn't touch him this time. Yeah, Frostbite. I'm sure that you're running out of aloe vera. Hey, I can always get you more. <laughs> That's right. He did say you could get him. Why did I take this Different job? Start. Just because we care. It's just because we care, Charlie. I'm just making fun. <laughs> okay. So, where are the papers then? I think uh, Frankie's room. I think Frankie had them, yeah. So do we want to put them somewhere safe or what? Um, I mean, if he doesn't know, the creature I have them, I doesn't, doesn't know Elias doesn't know she. Ha oh, yeah. They don't. Elias they doesn't don't know have they have them, so they are safe. The papers are safe. Elias won't be looking in their room. Okay. It's just weird how he singled you out. Singled you out. There's a chance, I think, that he might single you out tonight because you were the other one there when we were discussing taking his papers. Well, that's good to know. Okay. So we've all got our walkie-talkies and stuff. So it's like, do we want to call the others if he shows up, or what do we want to do? Uh, I think we just need to let him know, like, we can get you your stuff tomorrow night in X location if you come. Okay, so where do where do we want him to come then? That's the question we're trying to answer. Well, 
What's a... Anyone have any ideas? What's an easily defendable area that won't break a bunch of shit? That's... Is it small here. enough to quickly heat? Yeah. Yeah. And that heater's supposed to be coming tomorrow, for sure. Well, That's what providing time. that there's no delays, then yeah. I mean, we can't guarantee no delays, but... Yeah, because we are in the middle of nowhere. We can build a fire. Question for the DM. Oh. Uh, would there be anywhere in the lodge that we would be able to make this happen? Like, is there a pool area or a... There is no pool like area. Like, something no. that we can... Okay, what about, what like, uh... Lodges? Yeah. The lodge is made of wood. I don't know necessarily the fire is a good idea. Yeah. Well, light the room on fire. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, That's exactly. Proof. So, she had said that she bounced between darkness. So it's like she could is teleport the cave, between is the cave enclosed? Yeah, so is so the need, cave enclosed? Well. Yeah, it wasn't open to the outside. There's only one way in, one way into that cave. Yeah. Would we be able I'm to... I'm thinking the cave isn't the best idea. It's too but far away from home. Additionally, I will let you... I will remind you. Um, creation of darkness yeah. is another thing they can do. Okay, never mind. Because remember how you guys had flashlights and then it started like closing in on you? Okay. Hey. Well, that's what we gotta test because if they can, if he can use that ability already, then we're gonna have a rough go. Well, um, I another thing I'll remind you of, uh, Rachel had mentioned that um, he diminished power yeah heat and light no yeah he, but we can i understand that but heat specifically diminished power light made it so that she wasn't able to bounce around but heat diminished power so we just need hey. to get it somewhere warm without casting a bunch of shadows everywhere Or a place that we can quickly heat so it doesn't try to get out before going in. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> well, maybe Tom would let us set up in the conference room. We can get things ready now. If we're just doing heat, it's not a, it's not fire. We're not starting a fire. We're just heating up the space. There's only one exit in and out of the conference room. Unless it busts through a window. I'm trying to think of some place that is close that... we can contain or like heat up quickly is there any building in town that's there's no school in this town eh uh not really no okay there are kids well, but they're all, they're all quickly. doing like correspondence <laughs> we're, we're gonna have access to large heaters tomorrow so it's not if it's a small space, those will heat it up very quick. Yeah, we gotta do it like small space and safe as well. 
There's not going to be a whole lot of safe with trying to corner. Yeah. No, but I'm not talking about necessarily safe for the creature and or ourselves. I'm talking about safe for, like, the building. And environment. Yeah, we don't want anything to burn down. Because, yeah, exactly. if you get big enough to burn down a building, then the woods are not guaranteed to survive. But we're not starting well, a fire. We just need to heat a it up. Space right heater, like, a heater will not start a fire unless you're heating it up to combustion, which we would all be dead. I mean, all the labels on the space heaters say not to leave them on or else they can start a fire. They also say not to leave them unattended. <laughs> yeah, we will be attending it. We will be tending to the fire. It's fine. <laughs> so, do we want to set it up so that it'll be in your room then, Charlie? Small enough space? It could work easy to get ready. We don't have to prep too much other than get it heated up. So just turning up the heater in the room, is that going to be enough heat? Again, like, we're you... getting large heaters in tomorrow. It's, really it's one of the things we ordered. And... But I thought they were really big room, heaters. That's a lot of bodies. That's a lot of bodies. Not heat. very large size, very large amount of heat. Ah, okay. I'm picturing like these giant heaters. So I'm like, where are you going to put these? Well, for example, from real life, like a diesel heater is like a two foot long, foot wide, two feet tall thing, and it throws out a shit ton of heat. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, no. You guys uh, would know more about that. My roommate has one in uh, in Ontario. There's also the matter of fumes, but we can deal with that later. Yeah, it smells like gas. Well, it's a essentially a burning diesel like there will be exhaust <laughs> Luna how'd hey, you get inside you were that's, outside that's not gonna work inside then oh it will it's just not, uh, not for long term why don't we set it up in the park that's too open can we close it in with tarps have a it's, space tarps aren't gonna hold enough no, to that and won't work. And you're still going to have the and same issue of exhaust. Yeah, but the exhaust won't be inside a building oh, yeah. with other people in it. With some basic venting, we could probably vent the exhaust out a window and then remove that as an issue completely. All right, well, let's get working on that, Charlie. Figuring it out. Well, I guess we'll work on it once they get here. Because yeah, that's Monday. Tomorrow. And nobody... Well, we haven't really talked to anybody else besides Rachel. It's like, I'm just wondering whether he's been, like, checking anybody else out. Like scare, like because that's what it's all about—is scaring people, correct? No, right right not yet. So he right won't be doing that yet. Not scaring. Okay. Stages like a butterfly. Yeah, she said. Yeah. She said okay. that the first stage is nesting, and he hasn't done that yet. Yeah. So basically, they set up like a home base, correct? Correct. Which for Jason, it was the old mill. And for Rachel, it was that cave. Right. Right. And his house is gone because we burnt it down, correct? Yeah, that was, that. That, that was great of you guys. You, you, th like you think he doesn't that? know that? Yeah, he definitely knows that. <laughs> well, I don't think he does. Oh. I miss one <laughs> game and you guys was? burned down his house. Did we? Technically... We caught the logs on fire and burnt down his house. It spread to the house, but we didn't just, just straight up light the house on fire. Fortunately, they I had... napped for one day, and you guys become arsonists. Fortunately, the DM was merciful and didn't start the whole forest on fire. Yes, we we're a little worried about that, but we're more worried well... about the whole forest catching fire than catching yes. someone. 
I feel like it would uh, damage future plans if the entire forest burnt down. Yes, or talking to people. Yeah, you kill Bigfoot and all the other monsters. Yeah. Oh, game done. We did great. The yeah, answer is done. We took care of them all. Yeah. Monster of the Weeks. Done. Done in one. <laughs> we were never invited anywhere ever again. Banned from all okay. internet. Okay, and you guys still said that the altar was fine and dandy for now? Like, these, that's... Well, there's nobody else that you are aware of that shows interest in it at this point. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What was that? I thought, I thought maybe we lost the... Our computer just made a sound. Oh. For some reason. It's usually somebody joining or leaving. Yeah. Oh, it might have been, um... Oh. No, he's still here. I'm not sure. Yeah, no. No one joined or left. Okay, I wasn't. Oh, poo. Oh, poo? What does that mean? I don't know. It means the wire I need to use my headphones is currently sitting in a tractor. Oh. Eh, guess this works. All right. Well, is there anybody else we want to go talk to right now while we're waiting for our stuff to show up? Because we're kind of having a standstill. Besides, like, just mentally preparing ourselves. I don't think there's anyone to talk to in regards to this unless we just want to go around being nosy <laughs> uh i mean i guess i got a question for frankie uh oh do you remember about what you have in your pocket mm -hmm. okay just just want to make sure you remember that i remember do you remember I'm very well. i remember do we you still just it? want to get rid of that altar? Because I still intend on talking to my people tonight. Oh, when was the doctor showing up? I think for on Monday. Uh, I could As not well. hear that at all. The email from the doctor. That was not on Monday, but I don't think there was any further correspondence other than you letting her, she letting you know she was interested. Right. Okay. Didn't we send her back a message then come immediately? Um, I'm not sure, but if so, that's fine. No, yeah. I don't, I don't remember it. sending that. DM is muted. No, I'm not. Hello? Oh. Hello? I thought yeah. down. I was not muted. Oh. Well, you were too silent. Oh, yeah. Your mouth was moving, but nothing was coming out. I know, but like I wasn't muted, so I just left and came back. Oh. Yeah, no, I don't remember that, but it's possible that you sent it. Really? I don't remember it, but it's possible. Okay. You don't remember everything? <laughs> Not everything. Quite a bit of stuff. And a lot of stupid stuff yeah. that I shouldn't remember, but... Right. Okay, well, I... Alright, well... If Charlie and I, maybe we'll go out and get the altar then, bring it here. You want to bring the altar here? Oh, that it'll it'll bring the fog with it. Um, <laughs> all right. No, what do you, what do it you won't think, bring Charlie? fog with what it. What do you want to do? Not yet? I still think it's best if we just get rid of it. I said you won't, you won't bring no, the fog with it because it, it creates a clearing of fog. It doesn't bring fog with it. 
No, I know, but then there'd be a clearing of fog around us. Well, there's no fog around us, so it's a clearing no. of fog and no fog. Yeah, we'll be clear, and there'll be a ring of fog around wherever, however many feet, 30 feet or whatever he said. But it. it's it doesn't, not creating it doesn't the fog, fog. Yeah, it's it creates creating a clearing fog. in fog. He's saying so that it if, was foggy if it, became... it was, and so it makes a ring and clears the fog, but if there is no fog, it makes no ring. Yeah. yeah, so if it got foggy here for whatever reason, then there would be a ring of no fog. But because there's no fog, there it's still a ring of no fog, but it's a ring of no fog among no fog. I get it. I see what you're saying now. Let's let's say oh, fog like three more times. <laughs> well, we've got fog section going on here, and I don't see any fog in the forecast, so I think we're good on the fog ring. How about you just go, go fog yourself? <laughs> you should, should get foggy this time of year. You said three. I gave you three. Yes, you did. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, so, are you wanting to bring the altar here? What What is your goal? I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't think it is either. I think we should just leave it where it is. It's easier out of our reach. Yeah. And then, once the scientist is done... We can give it to your people. Because we still want answers. <laughs> you want answers about what? About the altar, about the quantum realms, about all those things that maybe she has answers about. I'm sure that she'd be curious about it as well. But also, leaving that around, letting her have contact with the actual altar risks what almost happened to you where it didn't want to let go, creating a new creature. Did Charlie touch the the altar, or was it just me? I brushed it, but like I bumped it. You touched it. Hey, you brushed it. What happened when you touched it? So essentially, I knocked Elias off of it, so I didn't remain in contact in it, and I just got frostbite. I didn't have the amount of time needed to have the effects that happened to you. Okay, so you're worried though that she would become. Well, if like, she I was able to pull myself and remain to touch, yeah, but if she's not able to pull herself off, things could go very different. Would we be able to pull her off or no? She would. St she could still be affected by it, correct? That's what we're thinking. Like, yes. Who are we worried about touching it? The scientist. The scientist. The one that we emailed. Oh. I mean, scientists are nosy. They're going to touch everything. So, If you show it to her at all, she's going to touch it. Which is why I think we should just get rid of it. And if you tell her about it at all, she's going to want to see it, which then means that she's either going to find it herself or we're going to take her to it and she's still going to touch it. So. Now I'm trying to remember if we told her about the altar in the email. About the you did, what? You did the not. altar. You did not. We just told her there was proof, correct? There was something to see about her quantum realm thing. Okay. Yeah. But. She could maybe help us with both Rachel and what was his name? In what way? Jason. With helping us get them back to... She's not a doctor. She deals with quantum realms. She's a doctor. Not a doctor. doctor. Not that kind of doctor. Doctor, right. not a doctor doctor. Yeah. Yeah, she's a doctor, a doctor not a real doctor. A doctor doctor, a doctor, doctor she, is somebody she has, that actually... She has a doctorate. She doesn't have a, a M.D. PhD, not PhD, MD. Not MD. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, MDs are people doctors. PhDs are doctors. So should we email her and go, just kidding? JK, JK. I mean, the only thing it's going to do is show her proof. I don't think she's going to believe a JK. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, there's a shot. It's not April, though. That might make it. Yeah, I just wonder what it's like. Oops, it's like maybe it's not the best idea for. Or her mom, but. we just show her something that doesn't prove anything, and that we thought proved it, and then she's just like, "You're a bunch of clout chasers. This was a waste of my time." I, well, she gets she gets, and then she gets ten thousand dollars. Why did she get ten thousand dollars? Because that was the offer. That's what we offered. She's the, the offer they sent the email her. saying it, we have definite proof of your theories. Um, come to Nahani Valley, blah blah blah, uh, or Glacier Ridge, and then if you find zero evidence, then we will give you ten thousand dollars. That seems like the a idiot mistake. idiot that made that offer. Um. But you guys said you have proof, so. Which we do. Now we just have to try and figure out how we're going to omit some of that proof. Mm -hmm. We let her get her grabby hands on it and see what happens. Hey, maybe it's soon enough. Maybe she touches it. We save Elias, and then it's just some random PhD chair. Or we just tell her all the facts, get rid of the altar, and be like, oh, it used to be here. I don't know what happened to it. it disappeared. Or we let somebody smarter than ourselves deal with it. I don't know why we're trying to deal with everything. Uh, well, because we just, other we people just know. Yeah, we just know what's happened. And it's like we don't want that to happen to anybody else. Or maybe you do. Well, we could lay down the law and tell her. You can examine it. We can study the stuff on it, but you can't touch it. And we can monitor that. You put way too much faith in strangers. <laughs> Just... My vote is just get rid of it and not let the doctor see it. Look, you guys know what my vote was, but that didn't work the first time, so... Plan B, we just throw it to the bottom of the lake. Is there, is there darkness? Find, there's darkness and a lot in the lake, right? to it at the bottom of the lake. Yes, there is darkness at the bottom of the lake. In All case, right, come on, that was better than the hit it with a hammer idea I had before. Well, the hitting with the hammer did not work at all. No, yeah, my, well, sho my shoulder is still a little sore. Unless someone gives a good reason not to, I'm going to contact my people tonight. Anybody? Okay, well, I'm... Oh running out of brilliant ideas so i'm gonna go rummage through <clears throat> i can come my, up with some my stuff i guess we can try and contact uh the doctor and tell her that uh, uh evidence has been damaged we can't the proof has been removed so don't bother making the trip this will save tom some money yeah 
because it becomes it's like a waste a waste of time all right so basically are we going no but he comes at night so it's like i don't know what time of the day it is now because we've been yammering for a while Nice word choice. Yeah. I honestly think, Charlie, it's probably safer to do uh, Frankie's idea and throw it to the bottom of the lake. Then no people have access to it. Because even the military can do, can't trust anybody. Better. She says as she like walks away to her room. They say as they walk away to their room. Something I even at the bottom you of a lake up. can be retrieved. You where up. my people would put it, it could not. I just want everybody to note that Frankie messed up we just their talked own about pronouns. Trusting people. We can't trust the doctor. Why can we trust the military? It doesn't make any sense. You don't need to trust the military. So you need to trust answer. me. All right, well, that's fine. Um, are you wanting to recover it out there, away from here? We don't want to bring it here. Oh, there I would be best. That's... We want as few in contact with it as possible. Exactly. Okay, so then uh, Maxine and I will go send an email to the doctor, cancel that, get that off the table. Okay. Right. Go ahead and contact your guys then, Charlie. Okay, so we're finding a computer or whatever. I know we can send from our phone, but you have computers. Like I'm you have going laptops to a on the table my in the laptop room. or something. In the conference room, you have so, tables on. You have computers on the table. I'm going and I can't remember her name. Elena? Sophia Vergara. Sophia Vergara. No. Uh, Elena, I think. Elena. Are, are we talking about the owner of the lodge? You're muted again. I am not muted. We're not on. Your video's on, but. Okay, I'm turning my video off here. Still muted. Or off. Elena yeah. Sinclair. There, there we go. go. Hello? Sophia Vergara. <laughs> Just what I... Hello? Yes. Yeah, you're back now. Okay, I, I'm leaving my video off because it seems every time my screen goes blank for my video, that's what happens. Yep. Yeah. Correct. Oh, wait. I gotta join Here. the call, though, and turn off my camera and join. So that I can have Frankie's face there. There we go. So your camera is still buggered up a bit. Yeah, I think so. How late was it when the uh, allies appeared to Charlie? Um, I don't know. Probably around like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Oh, we still got time. What time is it? Did you say well, I Probably 3 p.m. Yeah, about okay. 3 at this point. Cool. Okay, so we're writing our letter to, or I'm writing a letter to Elena, basically saying, like Victor said, damage has been, what is that? Down, or Evidence has been damaged or something. Evidence has been destroyed or discarded or whatever. So yeah. Proof is no longer valid. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time, but we don't want you to waste your time coming. Okay. All right. That works.
because yes, we're not we're not a hundred percent sure whether it would just cause more problems. No, well, we don't need that. What? Why not? No reason. We have enough shit to deal with. Yeah, no kidding. All right. So you send off that email. You're gonna yeah. have to wait a bit for a response, but uh, Frankie, what are you doing with your day? Um, they said they were going off to their room and looking at their stuff. Like yeah, I'm the gonna notes? do my stuff. I'm gonna pull my map out. Ooh. Try and figure out more or less like where. Would I have, like, a more, like, readable map that we got? Of the of area? The around um, probably yes. Um, um, roll and investigate mystery. Or, let me actually pull that up one sec. Make sure that that's actually, uh... Um, onto reference. Would it be more the bad situation one? Um, no, it's more an investigating mystery. Um, but we'll have to just edit that a little bit. Just roll an investigate mystery and we'll go from there. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't roll on like an open notepad. That might help. Roll oh, 20, why'd you log me out? I don't know what my track is. Um, I can pull that up for you. I think it's a plus two or plus one. If it's uh, one, plus I have one. a ten. Plus one. I rolled a nine. Plus one. Okay. So then at 10, you get to ask two of the questions, which, um. Can I do like, where is this located? Sure. Like where in the, like, the valley, I guess. Where does this go? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, you could just ask what is being concealed here. That's an easier one. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking about that after I said. All right. Uh, well, the what's being concealed here? Okay. Do, 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 do. One second here. Okay, so as you look over it, there are some notes and stuff on it um, that you see um, that kind of describe like hints and stuff. The actual map, like I said, is faded, but the notes are still uh, valid. It's hard to match up with the actual map that you have now because the map that you have now is more modern. Um, there's more places, there, like there's less forest on the current map and more city or town. Like it's, it, the town has grown a little bit, but not much. Um, but yeah, you, uh, you it kind of talks about some like different clues and things that are um on the in the area around this hidden chamber that it talks about um so some of these 
things that you're seeing are like different cryptic symbols that you haven't really seen before. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, the, there was like key landmarks. Like one of the things that is mentioned in this is the ruins. And you're well aware of the ruins at this point, as a lot of people have talked about them. All right. Correct. Uh, and yes. we've been by them twice. Well, at least twice. I yeah. think I think they have not, but you guys have. I think I've only been past them the once this last time. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I guess they weren't with us on the the first the first one. Gator or whatever. Yeah. Generally, me with the guys, I think. Yes. Yeah. I have the song from Dora the Explorer stuck in my head now. <laughs> Which one? I'm the map. I'm the map. Ah, <laughs> nice. I mean, you have the map, so. Yeah. Maybe they become one with the map. Yeah, can I become one with the map? Um. I don't think so. Cryptic symbols. And I get. I, you said I get two on a nine? Yeah, hold up though, because I'm going to give you a little bit more here. Okay. So, um, I, I have a lot of, <laughs> I had to scroll through a, a large page of stuff is the issue. So, uh, some of the key landmarks that are written down. A, the first one is the ruins. B, the whispering pines. C, the Winding River. Do you want me to slow down? Whispering Pines, Winding River. Winding River. Sentinel Rock. Cavernous Gorge. And the Enchanted Waterfall. Got that? Enchanted Waterfall? Yeah. And then okay. the symbols that you see, there's an eye, a crescent moon, a snake, a, cr a crossroads. And a spiral. Sorry, I'm doodling symbols. No worries. You're good. 